Thanks for joining us today for Growing Up with Chinese. Now, thank goodness Xiaoming's uncle, Wang Shushu, managed to get his camera back after leaving it in the taxi last show. Lucky guy. So he's still in town and out and about with none other than Xiaoming's mom today. So let's check in with them and see what they're up to. Sao 王楠那买点现代仿品也可以啊也千万别表现出来All of you caught the general gist of Wang Shushu and Xiaoming's mom's conversation. However, there is quite a bit of new vocabulary in today's dialogue, so let's take a look at some of the more crucial sentences right now. In the past two years, China's antique market has become more and more thriving. Gu Dong means antique, and Shi Chang means market. So Gu Dong Shi Chang means antique market. Yue Lai Yue Huo is more and more thriving or more and more popular. We'll be going over this in more detail today when we get to our language points. This is Beijing's biggest antique market. Gu Wan is another way to say antique. Gu means ancient. Gu Wan Cheng, antique market. 这里可以说是人山人海, especially on the weekends, you could say this place becomes a sea of people. 尤其 means especially, and 周末 means weekend. I think we covered that one before. 人山人海, now if you look at this saying literally, it means people mountain, people sea, or in other words, a sea of people. 嫂子, 这里可真热闹啊。这两年，中国的古董市场越来越火了。可不是嘛，这儿是北京最大的古玩城了，尤其是到了周末，这里可以说是人山人海。我最近看了许多有关古玩的书。I I've recently read a bunch of books on antiques. 许多 means many or a bunch. 有关 means regarding or about. 有关古玩的书。Books about antiques. I feel like the scholarship or knowledge in this area is really huge. 学问 means scholarship or knowledge. 听说这里还有一些明清的珍品. 
I've heard that this place has some authentic Ming and Qing dynasty pieces. Ting Shuo means to have heard, as in I heard about this place or I hear that this place has some good stuff. Ting Shuo. Ming Qing refers to the Ming and Qing dynasties, and Zhen Pin means genuine piece or authentic work. <笑>我最近看了许多有关古玩的书，觉得这里边学问真是太大了。那咱们真是来对了。听说这里还有一些明清的珍品呢，是吗？不过这得需要好眼力。我刚入行不久，眼力可不行。即使你看上了什么，也
Now, it's very important to go prepared to bargain if you visit Pan Jia Yuan, and really because it is so hard to say if something is a genuine antique or just a really, really, really good fake, there is no set formula for how much to bargain. A lot of people say that if you like something, you should decide how much you're willing to pay for it and use that as your bargaining reference. Now, you might not think it to look at it, but Pan Jia Yuan's stalls are arranged in a relatively orderly fashion. There's a jewelry section, a fabric section, a furniture section, a vase section, and an artwork section, and so on. So if you know what kind of thing you're looking for, finding it is relatively easy, which is good, because the market sees upwards of 60 to 70,000 people on a weekend. Yes, that's a lot of people. So it's no wonder the market opens at 4.30 on Saturday and Sunday morning. There's nothing like morning bargain shopping. <laughs> In any case, I guarantee that you'll find something to buy if you go. And even if you make your mind up beforehand just to browse, you'll still find something to buy. Pan Jia Yuan is a place full of treasure and wonders. All right, everyone, it's time to take a look at today's language points. Now let's begin with yue lai yue. Yue lai yue expresses a change in degree in accordance with time, much like the English more and more. Now we saw it used today in reference to China's antique market. The Chinese antique market is becoming more and more thriving. Now yue lai yue can only have one subject it refers to and typically has an adjective or verb phrase following it. So yue lai yue rue hotter and hotter. Yue lai yue hao, better and better. Yue lai yue xi huan, like it more and more. Qima functions as an adverb in Chinese and means at least or at the very least. We saw it used today in Ni Zui Qima Dei Zhao Zhe Yi Ban Kan. At the very least, you should bargain down to at least half. Now, Qima typically comes before a verb phrase or a phrase concerning amount. So let's take a look at some more examples of Qima. In today's context, 何况 is used to mean moreover or furthermore. 我以前也经常逛这种古玩市场,何况,我还看了好多有关古玩的书呢. I used to shop around in antique markets before. Moreover, I've also read many books on antiques. You could also say, 这件衣服很漂亮,何况也不贵,你买一件吧. This piece of clothing is really pretty, and furthermore, it isn't expensive. Why don't you buy it? Okay, here are some more examples of 何况. 你说我们能赶上火车吗? 应该能,路不远,何况又不堵车。你今天怎么吃这么少? 我不太饿,何况我正在减肥呢? And with that, we've come to the end of today's show. I hope you all had fun learning about the various ways to purchase antiques in Chinese antique markets. There are many rules to follow and remember. Okay, don't forget, you can always visit our website to review anything we covered here today. And while you're there, don't forget to send in any questions or comments you might have. 好了, I'll see you all next time. 大家加油!